my wife was pregnant with her first child. She had a high-risk pregnancy due to placenta previa that required bi-weekly doctor's visits, medication, bed rest, and almost a dozen ultrasounds. If we did not have access to the high level of care provided by the University of Michigan Health System, great insurance that covered most costs, and enough financial stability to pay for our portion of the care, this very well could have been fatal for my wife and daughter had it been left undiagnosed. Welcome to the Maternal Mortality Crisis Research presented to you by the Crown Jewels of William and Mary. The team you see on the screen will be the ones you're hearing throughout the duration of this presentation. We will cover our overview, analysis and results, our big idea, and a conclusion. So first let's go through our overview, our what, who, where, and how. What is the problem? Maternal mortality. Who is affected? All women with a higher prevalence towards Black women. Where is the problem? Everywhere that there are gaps in care. And then how do we help? We have developed a multifaceted statewide approach to save lives and improve health. To approach the analysis and the results of our research, we identify who is affected and where is the problem, showcasing main data points that indicate Black women have higher maternal mortality looking strictly at price. So first, having a glimpse into the systemic problem nationwide, we can see that maternal mortality rate per 100,000 left births is two times higher in Black women compared to white women. Looking into different medical conditions that impact the pregnancy, we noticed that pre-pregnancy obesity is the highest in Black women with a 39%. And lastly, we noticed that the maternal mortality is higher in urban areas with an 82%. So we can conclude that racial disparities exist across the country, and while urban areas may provide easier access to healthcare, maternal mortality is significantly higher there. So let's dive into Virginia highlighting potential gaps in care. First, Black women presented a 56% higher rate of receiving inadequate prenatal care compared to white women. 16.6% experienced discrimination during pregnancy, and Black women reported unintended pregnancy an 87% higher rate. So we can see the trend of racial disparities in Virginia as well. And even though there are multiple factors that drive it, inadequate access to care and biases are important contributors to it. What are consequences of lack of access to care? According to multiple Moria data, we found that four out of 15 patients were encouraged to follow up with the specialist. Four out of seven patients had no indication of following up or completing their mental health program. Five out of nine patients sought mental health professionals from their emergency or medical visit. Who is seeing a success in, the, in, in improving maternal mortality crisis? We know that California is the healthiest state in maternal mortality. Virginia reported 2.6 times higher maternal mortality rate than California between 2016 to 2020. California's maternal mortality rate started declining dramatically in 2006. What did they do then? They established California Maternal Quality Care Collaborative and launched multiple toolkits that could be a game changer for us as well. So what do we do and how do we do it? This is a three-pronged approach with toolkits, a new telehealth app, and maternity health check stations. Maternal toolkits are a proven solution in use across California that aim to improve the healthcare response to the leading causes of preventable death among pregnant women. They are a provider-facing instrument that includes best practice tools and articles, algorithms and care guidelines, implementation guides, and more. Telehealth apps would be a free app downloadable on any smart device that gives women access to dedicated obstetric, urgent, and emergent care screening and guidance. Maternity health check stations, through partnerships with retailers like Walmart and chain pharmacies, would allow for basic maternity checks, advice on issues, and a referral to advanced care when necessary. While these would be statewide initiatives with standardization across the board, they would be managed through regional medical centers that house a dedicated OBER that only pregnant and postpartum women can be treated at for any emergent issue. Besides the obvious benefits, the proven toolkits and telehealth apps are specifically designed and implemented to remove racial bias in care. So how do we do it? What is our call to action? We've developed a two-phase plan first phase having the first five years. We would like to strategically implement toolkits based on the largest gaps in care. 
then launch a patient-facing app to allow greater access to support and coverage. And finally, mandate it the program to statewide with a focus on mutually beneficial relationships for providers. The second phase, we would use centralized data from the app and toolkits to implement equitable standards of care. And finally, establish the public maternity health check stations for further engagement to close the gaps. So what is the takeaway? All of us have come together because we are individuals intrigued by data, and when we see a problem, we want to fix it. Today, that problem is that pregnant women are dying from preventable causes at alarming rates, causes that we can fix, and causes that California has already started to fix. The sooner the Commonwealth can take action to implement toolkits and apps that provide equity and access to care while preventing racial disparities, the sooner Virginia mothers can not only survive, but thrive. Our team is here today with a passion for the cause. We look forward to seeing how our collaborative ideas are implemented at the state level. Thank you.